I'm Alexander Lancaster at Tool Studio and Artist Den. I'm here with artist Sue Edgerton, and you have a project you're going to bring to the Tool Studio and Artist Den. And what I'm bringing to Nodo is, I think, something that's very new to me. Um, hopefully, new to Noto. Um, it's a piece that's meant intended to be interactive, um, a little edgy, controversial perhaps, nice. um, because I want to get people involved in it. And it's based on First Amendment um, rights and will touch on freedom of speech, religion, um, kind of melding all of those things together and pushing a few hot buttons with nice. dealing with censorship and um, um, sexual ethics. And what I'm going to ask people to do is create a dialogue with me, conversation, and also to put down their thoughts, reactions, um, and uh, comments, quotes, whatever, on a 4x4 four four card. The 4x4 four four cards I will use then as pixels to create a visual um, piece that I will arrange and rearrange. Do you have a name for your art project? Um, I've been calling it Spin. Spin? Because um, uh, I kind of want it to be like a, a spinning wheel mm -hmm. where it informs and uh, you know, the people inform the art, the art informs the people, and there's this the circle of information. kind of, yeah, and yeah, kind yeah. of spinning. Um, Are you going to have this project finished in a certain amount of time, or how is the project going to kind of unfold? Well, I don't know. There's a risk involved because it, it depends on, you know, how, how uh, well I can entice people um, to participate. Uh -huh. The so issues, cloud participation is very yeah, important. Yeah, I, I really don't know where, you know, it's kind of like throwing things in a spinner and mm -hmm. I'm not sure where it's going to go. Hopefully I will have enough material by the end of, of the evening that if people want to, if they've already, you know, commented or, or been a part of it, that they'll be able to come back and kind of see the progress. Or kind of take pride in being part of the project. Exactly, oh. exactly. And what I'm hoping to get is um, a wide variety of responses. Mm -hmm. It's going to touch on um, censorship and sexual ethics. So kind of pushing a hot button, and I'm hoping to get a lot, you know, wide variety and everything on the continuum between liberal to conservative views apathetic to highly passionate, interested. Now, do you consider yourself a liberal or conservative, or do you care that anybody knows about your views as a, I your think, political views as an artist? I think that uh, my, my views are probably going to become evident, but it's not about presenting my views and creating an argument. It's about um, bringing the politics um, and that conversation into art and having it inform the art and having the art inform the dialogue. Um, and I want it to be a wide variety. I want every everything along the continuum of liberal and conservative. So it's not me preaching. Oops. I think that if we come, you know, and all speak together and, you know, all all opinions are welcome, you know. And it's kind of like this is a piece that's going to be um, one of the pixels. It's a little bed of nails that I made and then I spun it. And uh, the idea is that with, uh, if you have a bed of nails, people can do handstands on a bed of nails, they can they can lay on a bed of nails, they can walk on a bed of nails, as long as all of the nails are even. If you have the one that's longer, then that's the one that will impale. 
And so this is kind of a metaphor for me um, that I hope, hope to join with others that uh, paradoxes, questions, problems, questions, and answers, and things, um, but giving everybody kind of an equal playing field um, in the moment. That's very cool. Hopefully the art will happen That's what we need the between people. the people and and the physical piece. Hopefully uh -huh. that will become something very interesting and powerful. That's my job as the artist and, and something that I want to explore. Awesome. But. Well, thanks for bringing, uh, letting us know about that. We'll have a follow-up interview. Maybe on the first Friday do an interview with the project out here and uh, hopefully follow up with the finished project and see what we could we could get out of it that's going to be off the canvas and get some information as far as how other people are seeing it as well. And we'll that would be great. Come in here first Friday, uh, July 5th, and help Sue with her project and express your thoughts and your opinions. Everybody does it on Facebook, sharing each other's little minis. So this is a perfect way to actually do it authentically without painting a piece of paper and be involved in a big voice. Okay. See everybody on first Friday. I'm Alex Lancaster, Sue Edgerton. Have a good evening, whatever it would be. <laughs>